Today we remember the iconic speech that President John F. Kennedy gave here at Rice Stadium exactly 60 years ago. A speech that inspired a nation with the audacious vision to land a human on the moon for the first time. Russell and I had just gotten married that summer. He had just graduated and we had a little apartment over on Sunset. One of my really good friends, Sally Henderson, worked in the registrar's office. And the morning of the speech, she called me and said, Wren, get yourself over here. There's something exciting going to happen in the stadium at 11 or 12 or whatever time it was. And so I walked over and met Sally, and sure enough, it was the president. So it was an exciting day, and it was really fun to be there. And to hear, and to hear the famous line about why does Rice play Texas. I certainly realized how lucky I was, and I knew it was historical because we had never gone to the moon before, and that was the buzz even around our school. But I, I just did not know uh, the impact that day was going to make. With seven words, we choose to go to the moon. President Kennedy changed the course of human history and cemented Rice University's place in the lore of America's space program. Kennedy had established the goal of landing astronauts on the moon more than a year earlier in a joint session of Congress. But it was the challenge he issued here at Rice that put the space race into overdrive. Within months of Kennedy's speech, Rice provided NASA the land for the Johnson Space Center and became one of America's first universities to establish a department of space science. Now a new generation chooses to go to the moon, and once again, Rice proudly takes wing with NASA and a nation destined for the stars. Recently, I signed Space Act agreements with all of the universities in our local area, including Rice University, to enhance our academic partnerships. With our Artemis Moon to Mars Exploration Program, NASA will put the first woman and the first person of color on the lunar surface and build a sustainable presence there and in lunar orbit. Then we will use what we learn to take the next giant leap, sending astronauts to Mars. 60 years ago, President Kennedy put wind in our sails on the new sea of space exploration, and that mission is never ending. It's a mission about science and the advancement of the human spirit to expand what is possible. Let us continue the quest to unfold this universe and let us continue to find unity in our discovery. Dress to impress. My home is the most diverse in the nation. Beyonce blessed. My home is the heart of aspiration. But the art is in the artist and the food is in the cook. The singer is in the song and the author is in the book. It's the people who make this place worth praising. It's the culture that makes this place so amazing. Who says you can't see stars in the city? They're coming down the highway, they're running through the park. Who says stars don't shine as bright in the city? In Houston, Space City nickname, we can see stars in the light and in the dark. Houston, we have a problem, and our Houstonians can solve it. Home to the wisest and kindest you'll ever meet. Shout out to the first gen students at Rice University. Growing up and living in Houston has taught me so much about having pride, and I'm so proud to live under this skylight of mine.